Hello, my name is Skipend, and today I wanted to talk about one of my recent favorite apps. It's an app that's very similar to Astropad and Duet Display in that you can mirror your desktop to your iPad with the full Apple Pencil support and use drawing apps like Clip Studio, Photoshop, and my favorite paint tool, Sai. The app that I want to talk about today is called Easy Canvas, and I find that compared to the more well-known apps, it's a little bit more responsive and snappy. Easy Canvas is also cheaper than the competition, coming in much cheaper than Astropad Studio as well as Duet Pro or whatever that's called. And it works on Mac OS as well as Windows, which is a great benefit for me because I want to use Paint Tool Sci on my iPad. So in my quest to find a way to use Paint Tool Sci on my iPad, I found Easy Canvas and I have a full video detailing the way to do that. But today I want to talk about a major update that Easy Canvas just got. The update that makes Easy Canvas a no-brainer over say Duet Display Pro is that now you have different customizable shortcuts. There was a menu in the previous iteration of Easy Canvas, and now you can find underneath the Finger, Apple Pencil, and Wacom Pen Support is an option for shortcuts. You have eight different programmable shortcuts. If you go into the menu, you'll see that there's three different options. With the display name, you can edit what it's titled. For the shortcut icon, they give you a few different little icons that might help you understand what your shortcut is as you get used to it. And the keystroke gives you a full keyboard you can use Control, Shift, Alt, everything at the same time to really give you the most customizability in these shortcuts. In the previous version of Easy Canvas, you did have full control over the keyboard on your computer, but I think that these little shortcuts in two different variations, there's a slim menu and then a more expanded view, it just gives you so much more functionality that you can be drawing like this and with a tap of a button, undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out. With an app like Paint Tool Sci, I have a lot of muscle memory from using it for many years on the different brushes that I really enjoy using, but something like zoom in, zoom out, undo, redo, if you could do that with a tap of a button, it's so much more convenient and I think it's going to make you a lot more productive because you don't tend to change brushes that frequently, at least with like an anime style. If you're going to do line art, you might just select that one brush and use it for several minutes, then switch over to another brush to do coloring. But the things that you use more frequently are like undo and redo. So having it on screen in these two different menus with these customizable icons is just a huge like time saver. So I think these functions just add a whole new level of usability to Easy Canvas. And because you could customize these keyboard shortcuts to just about any keystroke you can physically do, I can see a lot of different artists taking advantage of this in different programs. Easy Canvas isn't perfect though, there still isn't a way to edit the pressure curve, so I do find myself exerting a little bit too much pressure when drawing. And I've started to adapt my brushes to fit the pressure curve that Easy Canvas has by default. I think that Easy Canvas still has a long way to go, especially compared to something like Astropad that is very robust. But at the moment, Astropad is not available for Windows, and I think that Easy Canvas is a much better option than Duet Display. I've used Duet Display several times throughout my attempts to make Sai work on the iPad, and it's just not exactly what I want. It's gotten better with time, but just Easy Canvas is so much more responsive that it feels much closer to the Cintiq that I've used for so many years. I'm going to continue to use Easy Canvas and see just how much I could get out of it and hopefully release a review one day, but for now it's been an app that I've used almost every single day and it's just great to be able to finally use Sai on the iPad like I've wanted for so many years. And these added keyboard shortcuts took an app that was already great and made it so much better. I'm Skipen, and if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to be very consistent releasing on a weekly schedule and I have a lot more to offer, whether it's reviews on products, apps, or just drawing tutorials. I hope to see you next time. Thanks.